Hello and welcome to the step-by-step -step configuration tutorial of the Proteos EchoFrog, which measures the level of your tank and displays valuable information in a web application. In the first step, we specify our tank parameters for the configuration of the EchoFrog. If you bought the device on our web shop eSensorics.com, you will already have entered all parameters when ordering, including the outlet height and the offset between the sensor and the maximum filling level. If you have ordered the device via Amazon or eBay, for example, we will send you a request for the parameters by email. Once we have these parameters, we turn on the Echo Frog by pressing the black button in the middle for 6 seconds until the red light appears. In the third step, we connect to the EchoFrog network by checking the SSID on the side of the device and connecting our computer or smartphone with the Wi-Fi network of the same name. Then we establish the connection with the device by connecting the EchoFrog to our local network. We open a browser window and visit 192.168. Point four point one. After which a dashboard appears, on which we select our local Wi-Fi network, enter our secure password, and click the connect button. Make sure the Echo Frog is within the range of your wireless router. Now observe the LED on your Echo Frog. If it flashes green five times in a row, the connection is successful. If the light shows three red flashes, there was a connection error. Double check the range of the router or the entered password in this case. If our connection is successful, we can close the browser. Now we can log on to the web application to check our live data. We open a browser window again after reconnecting to our Wi-Fi and visit the website esensorics.azurewebsites.net. Here we will first change the language to English and use the username and password sent to us by email and enter them here in order to log in. As soon as we are logged in, we have an overview of the percentage level of the tank, the battery of the Equifrog, and the signal strength of the connection between router and sensor. As we scroll down, we will see more information such as actual volume in liters and tank temperature in degrees Celsius. In the last step, we mount the Echo Frog on our tank. Make sure that we have not installed a sensor on pipes or flanges longer than 5 cm, but that the ultrasonic waves of the sensor enter your tank unobstructedly. In addition, check that your tank does not have any side indentations that leave less than 20 cm diameter space vertically under the sensor. For reference, make sure that your tank would theoretically allow the passage of a basketball from the sensor installation position to the bottom of the tank. Finally, make sure that the sensor is mounted vertically with an orientation perpendicular to the fluid interface. If you have any further questions, please read the short manual supplied with the sensor, which contains a lot of valuable tips and tricks. Congratulations! You have now successfully configured and installed your Echo Frog. For more information about our products, visit esensorics.io.